Welcome back. Problem 5-20. So in this problem, it is given that the shaft consists of rod segment AB and CD and tubular segment BC. If torque of 10 kN into meter is applied to the shaft, determine the required minimum diameter of rod and maximum inner diameter of tube. Outer diameter of tube is 120 mm and material has an allowable stress of 75 mm megapascal so this cd and ab is solid shaft while bc is hollow tubular section clear and torque t that is given over here is 10 kilo newton into meter this uh, rod tubular rod has outer diameter of 120 millimeter and allowable sharing stress is 75 megapascal so what you have to do is that you have to find the required minimum diameter of these rods clear and maximum inner diameter of this tubular section so let's start with the solution so our first step is that we will find internal loading why because we must know the torque in each segment clear so internal loading for segment cd cd or ab they are same so we will first cut it over here and we will draw the free body diagram of this segment so if i draw it so it will be just like this will be the shaft clear and there is a there is a torque this is the center line clear and there is a torque that is given over here t and that t is 10 kilo newton into meter this is your point D and this is your point C. So in order to keep it in equilibrium, we will have a torque opposite to that and this torque will be equal to TCD and it will be also equal to 10 kilo Newton into meter to keep it in equilibrium. So this is for segment CD. Now for segment, segment BC, so if I cut it over here, I will not draw it again. So definitely you can see that you will have this is the center line clear so there is a torque t that is 10 kilo newton into meter clear so definitely you will be having opposite torque and this will be equal to tbc and this tbc again equal to 10 kilo newton into meter this is for segment bc tbc is again equal to 10 kilo newton into meter now we have torque in each segment so we will apply allowable sharing stress formula allowable sharing stress clear so for uh, segment for segment cd we will use t allowable is equal to tcd into c maximum radius divided by jcd so tcd is 10 kilo newton so 10 into 10 is to power 3 c is uh, not known we will find the diameter so c is equal to dcd over 2 divided by j which is equal to pi by 32 dcd power 4 and that is equal to allowable sharing stress and allowable sharing stress is given as 75 megapascal so 75 into 10 to power 6 pascal so again when now this is very easy again you will have to calculate this so if you calculate it you will get dcd will be equal to 0 0.08790 meter or dcd will be equal to 87.9 millimeter so this is diameter of solid shaft and this will again equal to dab because they are both solid and same so we will have the diameter of a solid shaft ab and cd is 87.9 now for segment bc that is hollow clear so allowable sharing stress will be equal to tbc into c divided by uh, jbc clear 
so here tbc is again 10 kilo newton so 10 into 10 to the power 3 c is d outer divided by 2 and d outer is given that is 120 so it will be 60 so radius will be 60 millimeter so 60 will be 0 0.06 meter divide by pi by 32 pi by 32 into let me check it so okay so we will use here pi by 2 why because c outer is 0 0.06 power 4 minus inner is not known so we will convert d inners over 2 will be c inner power 4 and that is equal to uh, 75 toy allowable is 75 into 10 raised to power 6 is equal to 10 raised to power 4 into 0 0.06 divided by when you solve this it will be equal to pi into 6.48 into 10 raised to power minus 6 minus dbc which is inner dbc inner divide by 32 and it will be power 4 so again when you solve this so you will get dbc inner comes out to be 0 0.1059 meter or dbc inner inner diameter of bc comes out to be 106 milli meter so this is the answer of our second part so i hope you have enjoyed this video again if you have any question you can ask me in comment section and those who are new to my channel then subscribe it and press the bell icon so that you can get notification about my latest video thank you for watching